The Minutemen are on a roll. I helped that settlement you sent me to, and cleared the way for a new settlement in the process. That's fantastic news. We're gonna take back the whole Commonwealth from the bad guys at this rate. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Something else has come up. Our scouts have found a promising spot for the settlement. Trouble is, there's some kind of vicious beasts over there. Let's clear it out and set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hi. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the many men always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's hit them from both sides. They won't know what hit them. We'll split up, and you can join whichever side you think needs the extra support. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Change of plans? No. Stick to the plan. All right. Head out when you're ready, and we'll get in position. Looks like they've been nesting. We're gonna have to take out these eggs, or they'll be back before we know it. Lurks like to hold up inside old buildings, so the walls are probably full of them. Sure looks that way. Here's how we're gonna play this. You hold here in the courtyard and take care of any eggs you find. The General and I will clear the walls. Yes, sir. Let's do this, General. Oh, walking into a confined space overrun by Mirelurks. Remember, you what just waste an ammo into? shooting at a lurk ship. The soft underbelly is what you wanna aim for. Hey, 
better to save our normal for other journalists
Hey, see what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else is left around this old place. We've got runs of power. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Seems to be in working order. Bingo. Hey there. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the Minutemen fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I'll mark it on your map. We'll find out what they need. We can use more settlements supporting our cause. Hi. Is there something you need? How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. No, nothing. No problem. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all hey. day, all across the country. You know, you look like you could really use this. Nothing to report These things have literally saved my life. Your thoughts? Huh, hard to believe I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic. Oh, nothing. All right. Hey, Takahashi. Tell me a joke. What are you saying? No. What? I'm busy. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. I'm at City Surplus! Always a trail to be followed. It's good to be back in Diamond City. Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. I've been meaning to put Earl's case to bed for a while now. But you're up for it. So, what's your take on the case, Ellie? On Earl? Well, he didn't have any enemies, that's for sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crimes of passion. So what's that leave us? I don't know, Nick. It can't be the Institute, right? Guess that's up to you to find out. Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Piper, I wouldn't know who else to tell. You know, I always got the sense Earl was interested in me. Figures he'd be the one to run off. Hey. Go ahead. Your thoughts? Always another case to close. That's all. Well, all right. He 
Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. That'll be Diamond City's motto. Anything I can do? You just say the word. You, you keep, keep that, that sin free, free at arm's, arm's length. Like, you you understand, me? understand me? Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about it. Look, just leave me alone. No one knew Earl better than these folks. Ought to ask around, see what people know. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I don't mind danger. So long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Excuse me. Go and talk to Jack. Then we can get down to business. Okay, Look, fine. Scabba, I you walk anything. away. But if you want to help Travis, you can talk to me. Ah, yes, you. Famous Bob Rodrigo on tap all day. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Anyway, you look like you need a drink. Not today. Come back later, then. Got a reason for bothering me? Get lost. Well, had we haven't scared you off yet. Need a room? Did you know Earl Sterling? One of my brother's old friends. Oh, boy. The way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once. To leave the staff and customers alone, but my brother always stood up for him. Honestly, I'm kinda glad he's gone. I wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the major surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? Not today. Suit yourself. Oh, no. whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Well, what do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Yeah, quite the scrapper, this one. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. 
I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for mine. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? All right, I'm in. Ah, I knew I could count on you. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Everyone just buys the beer, but we have plenty of other drinks if you're feeling brave. Beat it. Nice pit boy. I'm starting here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender. Why not name the bartender himself? Lord knows Vadim samples his own wares and his own weird behavior wouldn't make anyone bat an eyelash. Lousy people skills. Might score the Institute some points in the last person you'd ever suspect, Cat. But why not snatch someone with charm? Someone who can get you what you want. Earl can barely get you a drink by closing on a busy night. So where's that leave us? No known enemies. Wasn't much for the great outdoors, so likely not raiders or mutants. This all screams accident. Now, what was Earl into that might have gotten him in this kind of trouble? Hello. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Seat from the Mega Surgery Center, huh? I wonder what the good doctors have to say about that. Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Keep walking. Hanging out with Valentine, huh? Good for you. Think he's good people. I know it. What, you want noodles? Talk to the bot. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Not now. Very well. Doc. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Where is Doc Crocker? The last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? To visit our basement? Well, I guess there wouldn't be any harm. All right. Here, the key. Just don't touch anything down there, understand? I ain't your friend, Scabber. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. 
Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I didn't do anything. It was... Uh, it was Earl! It was Earl who didn't want to be happy! Good patients get a nice, new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! So you were performing surgery, and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. Why would people think the Institute took Earl Sterling? That's what they do. That's what they've always done. As long as there's no body, everyone just assumes. And that's why Earl's body needs to go away. So that's what you were doing? Cutting Earl's body up? You can't just get rid of 200 pounds of cadaver without attracting attention. Fortunately, the butcher shop is close by. If their trash pile just happens to have an extra box of rotten meat every week, who would think to look too closely? You really think you can get away with this? Get away with this? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Doc Crocker! Doc Crocker never does anything wrong. And once this is all over, no one will have any reason to question that. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Well, let's not do anything rash. Uh, I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there's so much blood. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. What's going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Take a look around for yourself. You'll figure it out. That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. What are you gonna do now, Doctor? Now? Now, I have a report to file, a mess to clean up, and a lot of explanations to give to our patients. You should get going. A medical professional should be the one to handle all this... contamination. Doc. I have to clean up this mess. You ain't gonna last once you leave the walls. Don't be shy. We ought to give her the news. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. You know, I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, Nick? The case for Marty? I do. Some loony scheme to make off with a statue of a grasshopper or something. You're welcome to page through it if you'd like. It's in the folder on the cabinet. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. 
He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come on, Nick. Think of the good times. What? Quit? <laughs> yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of. statue on top of Faneuil Hall. Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Wanna do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Just buy We're so delighted you you've chosen loans. us for your shopping needs. We buy and sell everything. From everyone. Always. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you have. The highest quality available. We've got purified water inside the city. Best drink in the Commonwealth.
detection system must be on the fritz. Yeah. I got a treat for you. What a waste of a venue. was ugly anyway. That's the last of them. You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head up, you damn coward. To heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like this. Hey, I guess that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight, didn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little birdie here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them! More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. Oh, breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? No, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So... Here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to. But yours true. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. 
Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Okay. So, you're ready to head out? Tommy. Don't know how long it's gonna take to get butts back in these seats. Okay. So, you're ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? Not now. Have it your way. Case is dead end in Boston Common. I prefer not to join them. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Yeah, I got you, man.
dumb move. Up. Your thoughts? No, I've never been a fan of mutant hospitality. That was all I had. Well, all right. Someone there?
Hell yeah. Drown had himself buried with all his treasure. Guess some people just can't let go. Hell yeah. Hey. Go ahead. Nick. Something up? Your thoughts? I've been told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. That was all I had. Shoot yourself. sign on their front door. Rob me. Go away. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. <laughs> 